In this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy the company portal to your devices using Microsoft Intune. So if you are working as an IT system administrator, definitely you will not want your users to be downloading the company portal from Microsoft Store. You want to deploy the others app using Config Manager or Microsoft Intune. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on how to deploy the company portal using Microsoft Intune. So, first of all, what you want to do is the following. You want to go to your business store.microsoft.com and from there, you can now go to settings. And from settings, you would definitely want to go to manage and then here you can see we have shop. At this moment, you can see shopping experience. It says shows offline app. By default, this is set to off. So you want to actually set it to on. After setting it to on, then you go to your search the store and then type company portal. And here we need to just click on the search button. By clicking it, you can see it shows results for company portal. And here we go, you can see we have our company portal. It says it's actually free. So let's just click on that. And right now you can see that it says license type is online so it is very very actually very important because you want to actually change this to offline because um, company um, the company portal is actually d delivered through the Microsoft Store so Microsoft Store apps are actually delivered from the Microsoft Store online but to actually deploy it using config manager or your Microsoft Intune you definitely want to um, you download the offline portal so now we have the option offline and then we can now click manage so by clicking manage you can see we have different options here you can see we can actually select windows 10 all devices which is windows 10 and above and then you can see we have the version you want to go for the latest the highest version and the architecture you can see we have different version as well so but i want to select the 64 bit because my Windows operating system are all 64 bit and then the download app is going to be in English I'm going to leave that for the United States but mind you by selecting that you can see we have different download here first of all we have the app itself we say download package that is the uh, we have to click download and when I scroll down you can see we have some other download we also need to download here you can see it's um, about one two three four five six seven eight so now we need to actually download about eight apps so if i click download you can see it's going to actually download it and then that's the microsoft company portal with a required key and then from there on we can now decide to just click download and generate license and this all will be actually downloaded to your download folder so what i actually did is i actually copied all the, all the downloaded files here to the um, to a separate folder I created. You can see we have, uh, for example, we have the AWPX bundle file, JSON, bin, and an APPX. So after I download, download this file, just try and put all this file together in one folder, and then let's go to Microsoft Intune. From, from your Microsoft Intune, you want to go to apps, and from your apps, you want to go to all apps. So here you can see I've already actually downloaded it and deployed it to my devices, but I just want to show you how to do it in case you are doing it for the first time. So what you want to do is to click the add and here we're going to click select. In the select, we're going to actually select the line of business app. So just click on that. And then you can see all the different apps options we can actually install through the line of business app. So just click select. And now we want to select our app package file. So click on select app package file. And then it says app package file. And then you can see if you just click here, you can see some of the, I was giving us some info, but let me just click on this no file selected, no file choosing. Let me just click on that folder. And it's going to take me to my folder, definitely maybe to a different folder, but then you can browse to the folder where all your files are located so first of all i want to actually select this file and then click open as the app x bundle file and then click open by clicking open you can see it says 
select dependency app file it is very very important that you see that you select the dependency app file because without the dependency app file the installation will definitely fail so what you need to do right now is to click on this folder again and now we can now select just with Control a and then click open you can see all the files have just been inserted and then we can now click ok by clicking ok you can see here we have the company and the name of the Microsoft company portal description you can actually change the description but at this moment let me just try to just add the following to it because I've already created one before now and then here you can enter some extra information but it says show this as a featured app in a company portal well you can actually show this as a, as a featured app because you're actually trying to install it right now but we can decide to actually show it but at the same time we are trying to install it for the first time on user's device so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it just like this and the category we can decide to actually choose a category let me just leave this for company management and then we can now click next so here it says um we can actually assign this to all devices but best practice is actually to deploy to just um, a group of device and then from there you can now check if for example the file is properly um download and installed on that device before you now distribute it to all your devices worldwide but the best you want to do is actually create a security group and by creating a security group we can now just decide to go and then select for example i can say okay i have a windows the in um, 11 device let me just select windows 10 for now and then click select and then we can now decide to just click next okay here you can actually just see all the information you can check if all is properly configured so you see required um, i actually um select the group called all windows 10 and then we can now click create so by clicking create you can see it's going to actually it says the application created and now what is going to happen is going to actually import those files into it's going to upload the microsoft portal into your into intune it's going to take some few minutes you can see we have about six files that have been uploaded right now and then after that the file will now be distributed to your windows 10 or windows 11 device but i want to give you some information because distributing this file to this device may take some time but what we can actually do is the following to actually speed speed up the device that the device receives this file as quick as possible if for example this has been completed we can now go to all the two devices let me just select all devices and here we for example let's say we have a windows 10 device you can see it's co-manage and then i can just select this device I want to sync what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sync here I'm going to click sync so by sync clicking sync it's going to sync every policies compliance policies security policies deployment um, I, I made from Intune to that device so by clicking sync it says Intune will attempt to check with this device if successful to swing cor swing sync correct action or policies to the device I can then say yes and then here we go it will now start syncing L free info from my Intune to that device and now if I go to for example let me just go to my Windows 10 this is a Windows 11 device let me go to this Windows 10 and if I if you go to Windows 10 after some time you're going to see that the company portal has been installed on this device here we go you can see I've already deployed you can see it says new and if I go back again to my Windows 11 I think I have the same here you can see we have our company portal recently added but to actually fasten everything as well from your windows 10 or windows 11 device let me just use windows 10 as an example we can go to settings and from settings we can go to account and on the account we can now go to assess work or school so from assess work or school you can see we have connected to kelp global domain here i want to click on info and by clicking on info it gives me the option to actually click sync so here device sync status by clicking sync it's going to actually sync with microsoft intune and then check all the policies and applications here you can see it says company portal succeeded microsoft intune management extension was 
enforcement is also completed and you can see some of the policies that have been deployed to this device so if i click sync it will now try to sync my microsoft intune in the cloud and download all these policies security policies or compliance policies and application that has been deployed to this device this is how you deploy microsoft in the uh, company portal to your windows 10 or windows 11 devices using microsoft intune thank you very very much for your time and please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to like my channel subscribe and leave a comment below and i'll reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much for your time and please hit the subscribe button bye